Do 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 Nothing but a G thing, baby. Crazy. Cut, 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 stop, cut. Thank you. I also want to do this little intro before you roll them credits, okay? So, oh boy, today's review really is all about the letter G. What up, G? Not that type of G. But anyway, have I got something cool for you today. Let's get to it. Here it is people, this is the G&G &G GR4 G26 AEG. What a whole lot of G's. <laughs> and boy does this look cool. I would absolutely use one of these out in the field as the backup to my primary. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, there's many aspects of this that looks better than my primary. I mean, look at this stock. This whole thing screams Magpul. But it's not. But anyway, very nice. Okay, shall we go through the features? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the magazine and put the magazine in. So here it is, the magazine. It's a polymer, nice, strong, sturdy. It's got a nice rubberized uh, grip to it. So it's sort of like a rubber wrap around here. And it takes, I believe, around 300 rounds. But I'll, obviously, I'll put that up on the screen later just to confirm that. Um, it is a high cap, so you have got the wheel there so you can wind the BBs round up to this point into your gun. Right, so let's stick it in. Oh man, look at that. How, how tactical does this look? Looks absolutely fantastic. Right, let's just get to it. Let's get through all the features and boy are there features on this piece. So, the first thing I want to show you is the integrated flip up LED flashlight. And that's right here at the bottom. How cool is that? Now, obviously there's no batteries installed into this model just yet. So later on, I'll show you this in action. And another cool feature on this gun, it has its own integrated laser. Look at that. Again, I'll show you that in action once I get the batteries in. The gun also features a flip up rear sight. And it also has a front sight. And you're thinking, where is it? Well, how cool is this? It's actually integrated within the rail. Look, now that's cool. And of course, it has a nice long rail. It also features a very Magpul looking six point retractable stock. So that's position one, position two, position three, position four, position five and position six. Now, of course, you don't want it to accidentally slide in, so you can lock it in by pushing up on this right here. 
Nice. And to release it, pull up on this lever. The gun also features a huge handguard. And within here is where you put your battery. We'll come back to that in a moment because there are some issues, but hey, we'll come back to that. The gun also features a very comfortable cheek rest and has a nice rubberized feel to it. It also has numerous QD sling attachment points here, 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 and here. It also has a single sling point here. Another cool feature of this G&G GR4 G26 is that it has a full metal G&G upgradable version 2 gearbox. And it also features a cool little pneumatic blowback feature. And I'll show you that later. The gun also features a forward assist release for the spring, which basically releases the tension of the spring when you're not using it. As with most guns of this type, it has a safe, semi, and full auto feature. It also has your mag release. Okay, so let's get back to this very nice looking stock right here on the back. As I said before, this screams Magpul. It's not Magpul, but you can see where G&G &G got their inspiration from. So I've already shown you that this has a six point retractable stock, but there's more to this stock than meets the eye. Because if you look down here, you'll see this little button. And if I push that little button and then push against this part of the stock, look at what happens. Very nice. You have a nice, cool storage space. And in there will go very neatly your CR123 type batteries that you would use to power your flashlight and your laser. Obviously the flashlight and the laser has its own battery compartment so that you can power up those items. But if you want to keep some spares in your gun, they can go in here. And I believe it should hold about two. Nice. The G&G GR4 G26 is a nice lightweight carbine. And when I say light, I don't mean cheap and light. I mean, it's not as heavy as for example, this beast, my primary. I'm not saying this is a cheap, lightweight, nasty gun. Not at all, it is beautiful. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too light and it's not too heavy. And the main reason why it is a lighter AEG M4 carbine is that it is mainly made out of polymer. Naturally, there will be metal internals and little metal aspects of the gun, but for the most part, it's mainly made out of polymer. Another thing I'd like to mention about this particular model is that it's not trying to have the real steel trades on it. It is blatantly trying to tell you it's a G&G, &G, okay? So all over the gun, you've got the G&G &G trades here, 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 and here. And the final one here. Now there's probably more somewhere on this gun, but hey, I like it. Very nice, very cool. So let's get into some of the functions of this gun. Let's get into how you install the battery and why I mentioned earlier that there are some issues about this particular battery compartment here. Right, so how do you install the battery? Well, first thing you've got to do is pull this laser forward because it also serves as a release for this part of the gun. So you pull forward, then you grab hold of here and then pull up. So now we have exposed the barrel of the gun and beneath that barrel, you have your small Tamiya connection. Here. Now, here's the issue. If you look in there, it looks very spacious, but trust me, it, it isn't. You really are going to have to get one of those small LiPo type batteries. I'll put a photo of one up on the screen now, but you've really got to get one of those small LiPo type batteries if you intend to keep the light and the laser system. Because the battery compartment for the light and the laser takes up a lot of the space that would normally be used for a standard size battery. Now, because I intend to leave the lighting system and the laser system intact, I will need to get hold of one of those smaller batteries. Now, one of those, as we speak, is on its way to me by courier. It's not here yet. So hopefully by the time I get to upload this, it would have arrived and I'll be able to show it to you. Now, 
For the purpose of this review right now, I'm gonna fit a larger battery on here just to test that it works and to show you the pneumatic blowback system. Okay, so I'm gonna stick one of these type batteries in here. It's just a standard one, just so that I can test the gun out. Um, okay, and let me just show you now, look. This is a fairly small battery pack, and look, it will not fit in the gun because of the uh, battery compartment for the light. But anyway, I'm just gonna hold it on the side here and just to test whether this gun works or not, okay? So what I will do is I know there's no BBs in this mag and I know there's no BBs in this chamber. However, for the purpose of safety, I will remove the mag. Let's do a quick check to make sure it works. Yep, that sounds healthy. Uh, right, I'll put it on full auto and we'll see if this pneumatic blowback system works. So just keep an eye on here. So I'm gonna pull the trigger. And I say little <laughs> pneumatic blowback system, watch. You see that? Very nice, very cool. But the reason why I say little is because it hardly moves, okay? It only comes back to about there. Now, that could be because there's no BBs in there. Then again, that may have nothing to do with it. It could be that I'm using a standard battery. Once I get that LiPo battery in, it could give it more power. This could go back a little further. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I just like that feature. It's just cosmetics. It doesn't actually serve any real purpose other than giving you a little realism in your firing. Okay, so let me show you how to install the battery for the lighting system and the laser. Let's start with the light. Um, look, there's a battery compartment right there, but the barrel's in the way. How on earth am I supposed to get the battery in here? I'll show you. First thing you have to do is to unscrew that and unscrew that and remove the front barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this screw right here. I'm gonna use a uh, Allen key. I think this is a grub screw, if I'm not mistaken. So just stick that in here. Okay, here, look. Tiny little thing. Whatever you do, don't lose that. Now, as you can see, I've removed one of the screws here and there is another one on the other side. However, I do believe you can get to this battery compartment by just removing one, and I'll show you that in a moment. However, if the instructions say remove both, then hey, you remove both, but I'm not going to because I've removed one and straight away, look, this whole bit comes straight off. That enables me to get to this battery compartment. So here we are. I just removed one screw and my whole front compartment came straight off. In fact, you can just pull this front barrel part off as well. And there you are. There's your battery compartment, ready for you to install your CR123 battery. Now, what a palaver. Just to put a battery in here, oh my gosh. Just as well you don't have to do that every single day. But hey, it's open, let's get the battery in and let's see how this light works, whether it's effective or not. And can I recommend you use a quality battery? Don't just use any cheap rubbish battery because you don't want it to leak and you don't want to have to keep changing it because it keeps running out. So get a half decent one, yeah? Okay. So let's put this in. Right, let's have a quick test to see if it works. Nice. Now, to power up the laser, it's in this part of the gun. It's beneath the riz rail, the part where you've got your nice little flip up sight. It's beneath there. You just turn it around and there's your battery compartment right there. You just pull that back and pop one in here. Nice. Right, so let's put this bad boy back together, like I said. Bit of a pain really just to put batteries in, but hey, at least it's teaching you how to start taking down your gun. So, let's put this lower part back onto the gun and let me just show you, you see that little notch right there? That needs to sit neatly into that groove right here. Okay. Okay, so that's in. Then you need to get your the front part of the outer barrel, which is here, with the flash hider on there. Uh, let me just show you now. You see that part of it? 
right here. That needs to sit neatly into there. And then you need to pop that screw back in. Okay, sorry about that. The courier just arrived and guess what he brought? I hope it's the battery that I ordered that will fit very nicely into this GNG GR4 G26. Okay, let's continue with the review. Scene four, take 47 and action. Right, so let's get this open. This should be the battery and this has come just in time. Okay, so let's have a look. Wow, this box is big. I'm just hoping the battery is not that long because if it is, that means this is gonna be even longer than the one I tried to put in it earlier. Hopefully not. I just hope it's a case of um, one huge box for all the different size batteries. So let's get this open. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's loads of packaging and look. That means somewhere down there is a little battery pack and here it is. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a link up. Well, yeah, I'll put a link or information down in the description uh, as to where you can get hold of one of these and what type of battery it is and whether it is really good enough for this gun. I think it will be. It is a, a new Pro 1200 milliamp LiPo 7.4 volt 30C. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough. Right, so the likelihood is this battery will need charging, but more often than not, they do have some juice in there uh, when you first get it. So there should be enough in there for me to at least test the gun out. And then if it works, I shall take it off, charge it up, and then I will do a shooting test. So let's just stick it on. Okay, that fits on there nicely. And look, because it's so small, it fits ever so easily down there. And all you've got to do is just tuck in the rest of the cable in. But what I want to do right now is just make sure it works. Let me just take it off safe. Oh, nice. Okay, so I've had this fully charged. So let's just install it. So, battery fully charged, other batteries installed, this gun is fully powered, ready to go. So, imagine you're in your CQB environment, it gets a little dark, no worries. You just go beneath here, flip that down, push it forward, and you've got your light. Groovy. Very nice. And of course, you've got your laser system. So, as you can see there on the top, you've got a red dot and a white dot. That means the laser is off. To turn the laser on, you simply pull the laser system forward, spin it around until it gets around to the red dot. So you now have two red dots, one there, one there, and your laser is on. Perfect. Now I know a lot of airsoft sites, especially CQB sites, do not allow you to use lasers, and I can see why, for safety reasons. But hey, it's a nice cool little feature. You don't have to have it on. Also, this model is available without this laser and without the light. And both can be removed if you don't wish to have them on there. But for me, it makes it very nice, very tactical, very cool, especially for movie making. Right, so let's address another concern I have read about, about this particular model. Although it comes with a very cool looking, very ergonomic magazine, a lot of people were asking, well, is that a standard mag? I mean, can you put other M4 type mags in this gun? Well, let's check it out. Here I have a Magpul mag. Let's see if this fits. Looks like it fits to me. Later on, I'll put a few rounds through it, make sure it works, but that looks okay. Here I have a GMP Madball Battle Mag. Will this fit this gun? Looks good to me. And here you have your standard high cut mag. Will this work or will it fit? Yep, fits, slight wobble, but it fits. And just so you know, 
the GMP Battle Mag and the Magpul Mag are both mid caps and they both seem to fit perfectly in this gun. I absolutely adore this gun. It looks so fantastic. It is perfect for your intermediate airsoft player. And I would say it's also good for your well-seasoned airsoft players uh, because as I said, I would happily have this as a backup to my main primary gun. And you know what? I may even use this as a primary once or twice, who knows? But I would definitely always have this with me as a backup to my primary. It's a bit like a uh, pimped up GNG combat machine. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you know what's gonna happen now, don't you? <laughs> let's take it to the range. Okay, so let's do the shooting test. Uh, let's get the mag out. Uh, the gun is on safe. Just put that down there for a while. It is a high cap mag. So for that reason, you will also have, as I showed you earlier, a wheel that you need to turn once you fill it up with BBs. So, let's get some G&G BBs in there. Okay, so now we wind the mag up. Let's take it off safe. Just going to put it in semi-auto mode for this very first shot just to make sure it fires nicely and correctly. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very crisp. Okay, let's just uh, go on full auto. Nice. Right, let's check out the FPS on this bad boy. Okay, very nice readings there. I'll give that about 350 and above, yeah? Nice. Let's put it on full auto and let's see what you get. Groovy. Nice. Okay, so pretty nice readings there on the chrono. This is the GMG GR4 G26 Advanced version. Now, I believe the Advanced version is the one with the light and the laser. The standard version doesn't have these, but you can buy them separately and add them on if you so wish. Right, so let's do it. Let's check the accuracy. Got the target set up. So um, let me just flip up the sight. And this one here, here we go. Okay, so what I am loving is that the groupings are very good indeed. Okay, one shot went astray just there, but come on, the size of this target from here to here is only 17 centimeters and likewise from there to there. So it's a very small target area. All shots hit the target, one just outside the rings, but the rest nicely grouped around the bullseye section and you've got one there on the two section. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna put it on full auto <laughs> and destroy this target completely. Fantastic, okay, I ran out of BBs. Look at that. 
<laughs> so, as with all my reviews, all my unboxings, every single airsoft gun you see me review are brand new out of the box. So of course, I have to take them out for a few games, test them out properly, and I will do a full follow-up review on this and all my other airsoft guns in a future video. But for now, I'm Airsoft Mike and I approve this GNG GR4 G26 Blowback AEG Advanced Version.